Day two in Bermuda. We are at the scooter. Elise is draping. It's a really loud horn just then. <laughs> Elise's back's hurting a little bit from the basket on the scooter. So the guys at the uh, scooter rental place did a little trick. Just drape a towel over the basket. Kind of give you a little padding back there. So she's doing that. Yeah, because it's basically a metal <laughs> basket digging into my back the whole day yesterday. Yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> well, we are off for another day of adventures. I think our first stop is gonna be Horseshoe Beach, so let's get after it. We are here, we have made it. Felt like we Rode that scooter all the way around the, the island, man. That was about, it's about a five mile trek. My butt's numb. Something <laughs> in that neighborhood. We're here with Chris and Lori. Check out their wheels. The man, orange. that is a hot set of wheels you got there, Chris. The for... orange slice. That's <laughs> the orange slice, y'all. <laughs> You're gonna turn it over. <laughs> I was sitting behind him in traffic and I was like, it, it, I felt like he was gonna pick it up and start walking like the Flintstones. He's so big in it. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to find out what this Horseshoe Beach is all about. Get us a little pink sand action, right? Don't know if we're going to swim or not, y'all, because it's early May. It's like, what, May 1st, May 2nd. 2nd? And the water's a tad bit chilly, but I'm for sure sticking my toes in it. I didn't even bring a swimsuit. Jason did, so he might be brave and get in. Yes, indeed. They're bringing busloads of people here. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting here pretty early because uh, we know that this is a hot spot. Mm -hmm. A lot of tourists come here just to see the pink beaches, so we're, we're here early. I suggest you get here early so that you can enjoy it a little bit to yourself before it gets too crowded. Okay, so we are on the beach. We are on Horseshoe Beach, and we're like, where's the pink sand? It doesn't look pink. But I think it gets pink as you get close to the shore. <laughs> okay. Chris, what do you see, buddy? You see some pink over there? Yeah, there's some pink tones. We're looking for it. Now I wish I would've put my swimsuit on. I know, me too, because that water is clear. Your shoes are getting wet. Oh. Rip the Band-Aid off, Chris. Just run in there and just dive. So now the, the, the big question is, are we gonna be here long enough to rent chairs and an umbrella? Yeah, it's like little nuggets of pink. It's not solid, it's like sprinkled in, it's weird. Yeah. And I think when the sunlight hits it a certain way, a certain time of the day, it's better. Because I've seen pictures and it comes through way pinker in the pictures. But it's really pretty nonetheless. I wish the water wasn't so darn cold. Because it's really, really clear. Oh yeah, so uh, I, I take back what I said. I'm okay not having a swimsuit on because there's no way I'm getting in that freezing cold water. That's really, really cold, y'all. Really I'd love to come back here though in the summertime and swim out there when the water's warmer because it's so pretty. <laughs> My feet are freezing. Well, this little spot's pretty. It is. This is just right around the corner. Yeah, so it's this little quiet lagoon. Uh, no waves are coming through here. Some people out there saying there's big fish out there. Yeah, I may try to brave the cold. I'm getting used to it a little bit. My feet are used to it now. I wish I would have brought a swimsuit now. Yeah, me too. So I had one of the local kids that works here pull up, and he was like, man, you got to try the, uh, the rum swizzle, a.k.a. happy juice. He's like, because when you finish one, you will be happy, man, he said. So definitely going to have to try that. I'm loving this little lagoon area. Yeah, it's it's really pretty with all the rocks. We had a couple people uh, climbing up on the rocks there a little while ago. It's real shallow. Mm -hmm. So you can walk way out there. But there are some rocks under the water, too. I don't know. I may brave the cold. Do it. It's so pretty. I wish I had some goggles, man. I try and collect sand from every beach we go to, and I put them in these little glass jars whenever I get home with the, with the label on them. So I have my little baggie, and I'm gonna get some pink sand from Bermuda. You can see, it's not like solid pink like we were expecting, but you can see the pink flakes in there. That's pretty cool. This is like the most famous beach in Bermuda, but the locals said 
don't just go to Horseshoe Beach. On South Road, there's beaches all along. So we're just gonna like hop on and go check out another beach. Yeah, we don't wanna just sit on the beach all day. Been there, done that. We wanna kinda explore, we got the scooter. We wanna zippity doo dah around the island, man. Okay, well, before we go, we were told that we have to stop in to Rum Bombs here at the Horseshoe Beach and get us a rum swizzle, so that is a must. I'm just gonna have a couple sips since I'm rolling on the scooter, but Lisa's gonna finish it off, I believe. Let's give this thing a try. This is the Bermuda Famous Rum Swizzle. It was a pre-made drink. They have like this huge like uh, jug of it, they just pour it out, so let's see if it's any good. Big old last jug. Cool jug, <laughs> nonetheless. It's rum punch. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite strong rum punch. <laughs> I, I will been, say that. I think it would have been cooler if it was freshly made. I know, it would have been better freshly made. But, you know, tastes good. Yeah, it's really good. It's stout, huh? Yeah, it tastes good. It's, you can tell there's some alcohol in there, but it's, it's mixed well. Like, it's, the ratios are really good. That could be dangerous because it, it goes down really smooth. And I know it packs a punch. Oh yeah. A rum punch. <laughs> It is lunchtime, so we we left Horseshoe Bay Beach and we went down the road about a mile to a place called The Reef, which is like a, a resort. It's a really beautiful resort, I will add. Um, but at the base of the hotel is a place called Coconuts, and they're supposed to have some delicious cuisine here on the beach, so that's where we're heading. We made it! We did. So we are sitting at Coconuts overlooking the water in Bermuda. And let me tell you, this water is, it's just beautiful. Some of the prettiest water I've ever seen. The bluest, so blue. I mean, so I'm used to like seeing the turquoise waters or, you know, like that. This is just a stunning blue color. Um, there tell, is, tell them about the sign down yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. There's a sign down there that's terrifying, so I have no interest in actually getting in the water. There's one lone person on this entire beach. Because there's a sign that says, Beware, Portuguese man of war are in the water. Stay away. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. We've Don't. been hearing a lot about them. Yeah. But apparently they're flooding the waters right now. Well, there's no sign at Horseshoe Beach, and there's tons of people in the water there. And one guy said, I yeah. think I got stung by a jellyfish. I'm like, Yep, I'm staying out, I'm good. So we're right around here, because there's Horseshoe Bay, that's where we were. So we're right around here at the resort. I say we go a little bit more down South Road, maybe hit a couple more of these beaches. There's Elbow Beach, that's another yeah. famous beach. Along, along here's all these beautiful beaches. And then we can either go into Hamilton on the scooter, or bring the scooter back and take the ferry into Hamilton. I would rather bring the scooter back and take the ferry. I think over. that's a good idea. So, take the so scooter I can back. Some beer. Exactly. So we got the barbecue glazed baby back ribs. We're going to share those because we don't want to get too full. But yeah, I love being able to stay in port for a couple of days, three days on this particular hitch. You can just put it on cruise control and go nice and slow have a good pace, you can see a lot, do a lot. I wish that was more standard on these cruise ships. When the weather's really nice, it's like, what, 75, 80 degrees, if that. It's really nice. A lot of the locals actually have their jackets on. They, this is cold to them, but it feels really good to us. So Lisa's taking one for the team. She let me go with the baby backs, the barbecue glazed baby backs, but she's got these giant, beautiful golden sweet potato fries that she will enjoy. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna split these and that that's enough for both of us I think. Oh god yes. I can tell you right now they're they're boiled. They're definitely parboiled. Mm, but you know what? That sauce? Sauce is good, sweet. It's kind of what I was expecting and what I what I'm wanting too. Watch this. See the Oh yeah, the meat just falls off the bottom. 
<laughs> Basically like a boiled rib yeah. with barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> Are they good there? Yeah, yeah man, they're great. <laughs> that coleslaw is on point. Boom, done, killed it. Those are delicious. You know, just a little boiled rib with some barbecue sauce, but you know what, it, the barbecue sauce is good. The meat was tender, hit the spot, killed it. Lisa's still working on hers though with the Working on these fries. fries. Yeah, and I'm working on this slaw, but good little stop off. Yeah. Little quick pit stop, fill up our tummies, uh, head on down the road. How cool is this? The bar here is built around the rock in the side of the hill. That's really neat. So we are currently at Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, and I think we are going to be brave and climb to the top, are we? I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna go see. I think so. I think we can do it. You think we can do it? Yeah. Okay. So we are here, the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. Here's Horseshoe Bay Beach. We've been there. And the cruise ship is docked up here in the dockyard. So this is how much of the island We've we have seen, seen so we far. We have seen none of this. Haven't been there yet. Okay, we have purchased our tickets. And we are about to go up into the lighthouse. And the views look like they're going to be pretty awesome. There's our cruise ship. Oh, yeah. Way over There's there. There's ship in today, too. Yep. yep. It was not there yesterday. It was not there this morning. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Up, up, and away we go. All right. We are coming up to our first platform. And we have a little window view here. Okay. This is your view at 34 steps. <laughs> All right, let's go. How's everybody doing so far? How many steps, babe? 55 so far. 55 steps and we're almost dead. <laughs> yeah. It's not looking good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> not looking good. <laughs> okay, we are, how many steps in? 97. 97 steps in. And we're getting up there pretty good. This is where it looks like 97 steps up, you guys. There's little windows in these little platforms you can go Look out. Let's go look out one. This is what it looks like 97 steps up. Beautiful, beautiful views of Bermuda, you guys. How many steps? 140. Okay, let me see what it looks like at 140. 140 steps, y'all. All right. Up, up, and away. Oh! There's a door. That's new. All right, so we're about to enter in through a door here. We're getting close to the top, you guys. Whew, man, quite a workout. When we are here, we have made it to the peak. We made it to the summit. We did it. How many steps? 184 steps to the very top of the lighthouse. So it's 184 where Lisa's 85, at. 86, 87, 88, 89, 99, 192. 192. If you want to get to the platform, highest platform, which is, look at this, you guys. We're up here pretty good ways. Climbed the 184, 85 steps. You did it. How you feel? My thought, no, my calves are burning. <laughs> my calves are burning because it's going up the stairs. But I'm proud of myself for doing it. And it's worth the climb to get up here for this view because it is, it's a stunning view. I love like the details you can see up here. Um, you can see the shape of the island, how it's shaped like a hook. You can see all the different colors of the buildings up here. Um, you can see all the little islands 
that are off this big island. So this island is, I think, around 25 miles from tip to tip. And, but there's small islands off of the coast of this one. So yeah, Bermuda's out here in the middle of, there's nothing else around Bermuda. It's, it's just, just an Bermuda. island. It's just Bermuda out here. It's time to go back down. Okay, so going down is technically easier on your legs, but harder on your balance. Hold on to the so, rail, just hold yeah. on to the rail, or hold on to me. Here we go, down we go. You good? Yeah, you just have to think about each step as you go down. And flip-flops on these kind of stairs are maybe not ideal. Stop it, I have a fear of going down staircases. I'm scared I'm gonna fall. So I go really slow. Yeah, doing fine. Yeah, we didn't plan on this, but if you do plan on going up a lighthouse, don't wear flip-flops, you guys. You'll have to go pretty slow going back down. Going down was a lot worse than going up. Seriously, that was scary. Okay, round two. We are back at Woody's, and we're gonna try the Cajun Wahoo fish sandwich mm -hmm. because we heard it was the best on the island. Let's go get us one. You ready? I'm starving, let's go. <laughs> Me too. So we ordered the grilled Cajun Wahoo sandwich on toasted bread with coleslaw because that's how the locals told us to order it. Um, so it's different than what we had yesterday because what we had yesterday was fried um, halibut. Haddock. Haddock, yes, fried haddock. So I'm excited to try a different this sandwich. This is fried? No, it's grilled. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Moment of truth. Fish sandwich in a bag. Unveil that beauty. <laughs> that looks like messy deliciousness right there. Oh, man. We're off to a good start. A little piece fell out. That's good. So this is grilled, not fried. This is the Cajun Wahoo fish. Comes highly recommended. It's, supposed to, it's the best on the island, they say. One of the local favorites. And the locals are the ones that told us about the raisin bread. So if you just go up there and order it, it's going to come on a roll. True. You specifically have to ask for the toasted raisin bread. That's delicious. There's so much flavor between the fish, the bread, the, the coleslaw, the, the tartar sauce, the crisp of the lettuce on there. That is a dang good sandwich. Oh yeah. I actually think I like the Cajun Wahoo better than the fried one. I think I would have really enjoyed the Cajun Wahoo fried. Because mm -hmm. when you think of a, a fish sandwich, you think of it fried. But this was a nice change. I like the, the, uh, the slaw and the, the sauce on this particular one, the Cajun Wahoo better here at Woody's. I just wish it was fried. Both are really good, you know. Try them both. Try the ones at Anchors, try the one here at Woody's, see which one you think, you know, because they're kind of different. But they both claim to be the best. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Cajun Wahoo at, at Woody's. I'm going with that one. So we just stopped here. There's several little pull-offs on the side of the road that are really picturesque. And we saw this spot yesterday and we didn't stop here. So we made sure to stop today. It's just, you can you can walk down to this little bitty beach. There's rocks right here. Really good photo spot. Yeah. All right, we have returned the scooter safe and sound. We made it. We didn't fall, we didn't skin our knees, nothing. Skilled professional right here. Yep. It was a good scooter. It was a good scooter. Thank you for being a good scooter. <laughs> we had fun, but time to go. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, so we are going to go into the Clock Tower Mall and see what they got in there. We have not been in here yet. That's right here inside the port. I have to get a magnet, so here is one. I survived the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> That's 
one's kind of a basic. Let me see if I can find one a little bit prettier. This spot here will make a piece of jewelry for you with pink Bermuda sand. And they have a little sand in the jars. Well, I don't know how to buy furniture here when I'm on a cruise ship. Yeah. Can't really get it home. Well, maybe that's for like the locals. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have found our magnet. It is a raised magnet that shows the island of Bermuda and says Bermuda since 1609 and a Christmas ornament made out of seashells. And it says Bermuda on the back. Our big purchases for today. All right, one last stop before we jump back on the ship. We're here at the Bone Fish Bar and Grill. It's right here in port, one of the first stops you'll run into. Let's go get a drink. You want a drink? Let's go. Let's go. What the heck? Yeah, we, we changed our mind. We don't need beer that bad. It's like 14 bucks for a beer. I'll just wait till I get home, buy the whole six pack for that. But, uh, they're cheaper that's, on the ship. <laughs> that's just too expensive for a beer, you guys. That is it for today. We are getting back on the Pearl and we are just going to ride out the rest of the day in the hot tub or something like that. Yeah, just chill time. Chill time. Let's go. Oh, if you're new to our channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos that are coming in the future. Yeah. Let's get back on the ship.